And we are not going back. We are not going back. We all here remember what those four years were like. And today, we were given yet another reminder. This afternoon, Donald Trump spoke at the annual meeting of the National Association of Black Journalists. And it was the same old show. The divisiveness and the disrespect. And let me just say, the American people deserve better. The American people deserve better. The American people deserve a leader who tells the truth, a leader who does not respond with hostility and anger when confronted with the facts. We deserve a leader who understands that our differences do not divide us. They are an essential source of our strength. So I say, to Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, ours is a fight for the future. And it is a fight for freedom. To build up, not tear down, and to build up America's families, Project 2025 would raise taxes on middle class families and cut taxes for billionaires. Eliminate the Department of Education and end, end programs, programs like Head Start, which of course would take away preschool from hundreds of thousands of our children. All of this to build on what Donald Trump did in his first term. When he was president, he gave tax breaks to billionaires and big corporations. He tried to cut Social Security and Medicare every single year for our most fundamental freedoms. And to this, room of leaders, I say, we who believe that every person should be free from gun violence will finally pass universal background checks, red flag laws, and an assault weapons ban. And we who believe in reproductive freedom will fight for a woman's right to choose because we know one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree the government should not be telling her what to do. Bring it on. Bring it on, those who would dare to attack these fundamental freedoms. And I promise you, when I am President of the United States, and when Congress passes a law to restore reproductive freedoms, I will sign it into law. So in this moment, our fundamental freedoms are on the ballot. And so is our democracy. This month, and it really bears, just with all that's been happening, to just to for a moment pause and think about it. This month, the Supreme Court basically just told the former president, who has been convicted of fraud, that going forward, he will be immune for activity we know he is prepared to engage in if he gets back into the White House. Recall, Donald Trump has openly vowed, if reelected, to be a dictator on day one, that he will weaponize the Department of Justice against his political enemies that he will round up peaceful protesters and throw them out of our country. And when we vote, we make history. So let us continue to fight with faith, with optimism, and with hope. And when we fight, we win. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.